In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the MagPlus toolset so you can start building your digital issue. Now, if you haven't already downloaded the uh, tools that you need to install or the installers, you can just come out to magplus.com. If you've never been to our site before and haven't created an account, start here with the download for free button, and that's going to take you to a place where you can create a quick account for us and then download the toolset. If you have been here before, just go up under My Mag Plus and you'll see these options to go to download and you can go directly to the download page without filling out an account before. Now I've already downloaded the tool set, so what you're going to get when you download, for a Mac anyway, is this .dmg file. I've downloaded it for CS55, though we support other CS versions as well. So if I double click that, it's going to open that file up and it's going to put a drive here on my desktop. This is the Mag Plus installer. Just double click that. And it's going to present a little window that will walk you through what you need to do. Basically just click continue. Here's our license you can agree to. Uh, where you want to put things. And here you'll see that you can choose which pieces you want to install. Now if this is the first time you're installing, go ahead and leave everything checked. If you've had it before, it'll say upgrade. Otherwise it'll say install. If you want to come back and just install one piece or another, if you've maybe lost something or something's got corrupted, you can always run the installer again and uncheck some of these options. But I'm just going to leave everything checked here, and then we'll walk through what we're actually installing. I'm going to click Continue, leave it in the default location, click Install, and type in my computer password. And it takes about 10 seconds to do, even less. All right, now we can get rid of this drive. You can just eject that, and let's take a look and see what was installed. If I go into my hard drive, I'm going to go to my Applications folder here, and first we'll go up under InDesign. You can see I've got CS5.5 here. If I open this up, I have a Plugins folder, and you can see now I've got a folder inside called MagPlus. If you ever need to uninstall MagPlus, just come in here and delete this, and delete the other MagPlus folders, and then just reinstall. There's one more folder that got installed and one more step that we need to do. If I keep scrolling down, you're going to see here in Applications, I've also got a folder called Mag Plus. If I open this up, you'll see that I've got some example files in here. We'll refer to these in some other videos as ways to get you started learning the tools. And we've got our blank templates that you're going to need to create your layouts, your digital layouts, for each of these different devices. So you can see we've got Android phone and tablet, iPad and Retina, iPhone 4 and 5, and the Kindle Fire. As we add support for more devices, you'll get more templates. And if we take a look in here, you'll see you have the main template, MagPlus template CS55. That's what you're going to use to start all of your new uh, InDesign files. And we've also got a file in here called TOC, and that's for a pop-down table of contents that you can have as an option in your navigation. We'll cover how to lay out one of those in another video. Just remember this MagPlus template is the one that you're going to want to work with. Now you'll see that here in this folder I've got one more file called .air, and this is an installer for another piece of the tool set called the Production Tool. This one also really simple, just double click it. If you don't already have Adobe Air installed, it's going to install that first, but I already do, so it's just going to say, are you sure? Yep, click Install. I'm going to put this right here in Applications and click Continue. That's all it does, and it'll open you up directly into the MagPlus Production Tool, which you see here and we'll cover how to use this in another video as well. That's really all you need to do the installation. Now move on to the next videos and you'll see how to start using the tool set.